welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video. I think that the game that I had the most fun playing when I was younger was Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies. Get that Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer garbage out of here. I got on that train in Black Ops and I rode that train hard until about Black Ops 4 when they served us a steaming pile of garbage. So as a flailing tribute to zombies, I decided to make my own. I opened Unity, created a new project, and I started using the first person shooter starter kit from Unity, but it was absolute garbage and didn't really work. So I decided to start from the ground up and delete everything. But before I did that, I decided to run amok for a moment and wanted to bail off the cliff. Goodbye, cruel world. Wait, what the hell? So I slapped my forehead on the keys and wrote a little first person controller. Now to start on the zombies. And what's the first thing we need? A zombie bean. I need to make them green, of course. I also had to teach them how to move around the scene. And I had no idea how to do this because there's a lot of navigation involved. There's a bunch of algorithms like A plus star money sign pathfinding. And there's a whole plethora of complex pathfinding algorithms that are designed to get from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time possible. And there's also this nav mesh agent in Unity that does it for us so that the zombie can effectively navigate the scene. <sighs> In short, it's kind of hard, but because it's 2022, it has been made much easier by the coding giants who walked before us. And I got it worked out with just a couple lines of code and just look at this little bastard wanting to eat me and stuff. Now it was time to actually work on shooting the zombie and I really don't want to make my own gun assets because they'd kind of look terrible. So I did some browsing around and I found this beautiful little website provided by Brackies himself. I grabbed the weapons pack and went on my merry little way. I also decided to add a couple game objects and spiff up the scene a little bit so I wasn't just walking on this endless white plane. But when I ran the game, the zombie just kind of quantum tunneled right through the objects. Damn it. I fixed that up real quick and now this little guy just chases me around. Just two beans playing tag. Except for one bean is green and he looks like he has a massive white schlong which we both know is impossible. And at this point there were some issues, like if I was on the steps I couldn't jump, but that sounds like a problem for later Logan. Good news is Special Agent Bean passed his background check and his polygraph, so he gets an AK-47, even though he kind of holds it weird, all up in his mouth. But considering he's just a placeholder, I'll leave it as it is. Now I was ready to implement the actual shooting, which is done with something called ray casting, which is exactly what it sounds like. I tell Unity to fire an invisible laser in a certain direction and to report back whatever it hits. And this laser is invisible, like I said, but I can ask Unity to show it for debugging purposes. And if you look at the screen now, you will notice that I can shoot this bean right in the face. But this zombie with this massive still tends to trouble us because as it shakes out, I haven't implemented health or anything like that yet. So it was time to get on that. I added a couple lines of code and now when this whole colored fellow comes to take my lunch money, I can handle it. Then it was time to actually start making the zombies for this game. So I popped open Blender and started to put some hot garbage together, but I soon realized that I suck at modeling people. So I deleted that grossness and started over, and this one started to look a little bit better. Although I did realize that uh, this guy was starting to look a little chesty. I wonder what Freud would say about that. Anyways, I accepted that my art skills leave much to be desired, and I decided to scour the internet instead. And I actually found some really good models, like these zombies from Sketchfab. Credit and link in the description. After I swiped these cute little characters, I was trying to figure out the animation system in Unity because I've never had to work with it before. I imported the model in, and he's looking a little bit small, but his pose was on point. He's kind of got that five mile stare going. And just like that, it was time to start working on some practical animations. But while I was browsing Mixamo, I came across this little number and I couldn't resist. So without further ado, here is Zombie MJ breaking it down. This makes me so happy. Then it was time to start implementing, you know, the harder animations, but I was having a tough time of it. I could get him to walk towards me, but that son of a bitch would not start slapping me. I even put on a Rihanna wig and that didn't do anything. Then I did a deep dive and I learned that I'm just a little bit slow. He figured it out and he started hitting me, but he would only hit me once. And then I would have to move again for him to beat me again. It was like if I stood still, he couldn't see me, like some sort of decaying T-Rex. He worked out that he was supposed to keep hitting me, and that sufficeth for now. I need to adjust, you know, colliders and taking damage, but 
that can wait. First, it was time to get these ugly ass geometric shapes out of here and make a pretty little village scene. At this point, I was thinking about trying to do the art again, but I realized that I have neither the want nor the time. So I started to browse the cheaper side of the Unity asset store and I found this little guy, Celeste. I ended up buying it, and then right after I took a trip to my tiny hometown, where the first thing to come up on Google Maps is a donkey. What an ass. As one could expect, the Wi-Fi was kind of garbage, and I was on a laptop, didn't get a whole lot done. But when I got home, I quickly roughed out this little guy. It's just a small village of probably about 20 people, but if they keep growing, it's gonna start getting a little incesty. Might be why they have a zombie problem. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to end it right here. Next video is going to be all about gameplay, polishing touches, stupid Easter eggs, all sorts of goodness. If you would like to see it, hit that like and subscribe button. Have a fantastic day. I saw a UFO outside the crib last night. Heard a knock on my window. Figured that it's all in my mind. I felt